Hi lovelies, it's G here from Golden Thread Tarot. I'm here to bring you a channeled message, okay? I hope this message is finding you blessed and full of abundance, boots, okay? Some of y'all are really okay. Some of y'all are putting up some appropriate boundaries and defenses against somebody who stabbed you in the back, okay? And you're like, I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for nobody trying to stab me in my back, okay? I, I, I ain't got time. You're putting something to rest, okay? And you're moving on. I'm hearing on to bigger and better things. <laughs> y'all got an admirer. Page of Cups. Y'all got y'all got an admirer. That they like what you're doing. Okay. Cause I was hearing, I heard the song ever since I well, ever since I woke up this morning, okay. It's Prince, you got the look, okay? You got the look. It must have took a whole hour just to make up your face, baby. Yes. Print. I was like, I woke up and I heard Prince. I was like, oh, I was like, oh my gosh. I think this is the first time I've ever channeled any of his music, right? Yeah, so it was the the, the <laughs> it was the hook that I was really hearing, right? That you you know, you got the look, you know, your face is jamming, your body's hella slamming, hecka slamming, whatever he says. <laughs> if this love is good, let's get some ramming. You got the look. You got the look, right? So somebody's really liking, they liking what you got going on, okay? And they're like, yo, like I'm attracted to you. If the chemistry is right, if this, you know, if you know the compatibility is right, like let's do this shit, okay? Like let's do it, okay? Yeah, they feel a little left out in the cold. I don't, I don't feel like this is you that made this person feel left out in the cold. I feel like I'm hearing locked out. Oh, what is that? Is that Bruno Mars song that locked out of paradise? Is that, is that who sings that? I don't know. Some of my rocks are over there jumping around. What rock is over there jumping around? Hello? Anyway, actually, I feel like that long side of paradise might be the person that you turned your back on, honestly. I feel like you're going towards a, like a situation here that makes you feel a lot better something that you feel like you actually have a chance of having victory with there is like some energy okay that's around that's like it's like somebody is trying to distract you there is a past energy okay that's trying to distract you and i feel like this other person feels like heavy like the energy around you feels heavy and it feels like it's key like this other person is like i want to come into your energy they're already there they're trying they're, they're they're trying to fight off the past energy right or they're trying to help clear out the energy so they can come in but this past person is like fuck you like ugh, fuck yeah like this past energy somebody yeah Somebody here is really trying to come in and bring some kind of like solid offer to you. I really feel like, you know, it, it's not like, it's not like this person's going to rush in and be like, let's get married right away. This person is like, let's be friends. Let's start to get to know each other. Because I feel like this is like a new energy. It feels like coming in. So tell me about this new energy that wants to come in, please, spirit. Okay. They're showing, they're, it, I literally see Prince. So this person could kind of look like Prince. Okay. Or it could be Prince was a Scorpio, wasn't he? I think he was. Or do you just have a Scorpio moon? I think he might have been a Scorpio. Um So this person's kind of mysterious. This person is kind of they kind of have that this person might be a little more I don't want to say effeminate, but they might be a little more feminine in their energy, right? But they're still right cuz Prince had this very kind of like very fem kind of kind of masculine yet feminine soft kind of energy but they were still but he was still like so wanted and so you know like like he didn't care <laughs> he was like yes i will wear high heels and i will wear eyeliner and i will still fuck your bitch like kind of energy like this person is not necessarily like like a like a mr steal your girl energy or anything but this person just said oh <laughs> They have a sense of humor. I like this person. Yeah, look at that. Holla. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Okay, this person might really like like music, especially like late 90s, early like 2000s kind of music, okay? Um, uh, 
okay, uh, this person is funny. I like this person, but yeah, right? They're like, I, I, they, this, person, this person's like, I'm here to bring your sex life back from the dead. <laughs> That's no joke what they just said. They were just like, like, baby, like, I know it's been a dry spell, but not anymore, okay? Ten of cups, it's gonna be like, gush. Like, hello, like... And they're like, I know that you've been dealing with some heartache. I know that you kind of got a hard exterior because you've been dealing with some heart. You've been dealing with some heavy ass energy. You know, you've had some like this person said, I understand. You've had some fuckboys that have really tried to play. You've had some players. You've had some dark energy, right? This person's like, but I want to talk to you, right? Like, I want to bring in some new energy. Like, look, like this is vast difference in the energy, right? It's all like here it's all like there were water behind it but like look at the grass is all like dead and like this person like stabbed in the back with all these like dark clouds in the background right look 80 cups they're like walk away from that shit they're like i understand that that's what you're walking away from and that your heart is still healing they're like i get it but i want to bring in all this new energy right and they're like and i can go for rounds 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 okay yeah look at this shit <laughs> Oh my god, with this devil energy right here in the background. This person is like, I don't get that this person's a devil. I get that this person Wow, this is interesting. Like I don't I don't know if I've ever felt the devil card feel as light as it does right now. It feels intense. This person is intense. They have a very intense sexual energy. They definitely could be a Scorpio. Okay. But I just heard somebody say not your ex. Okay, so it's not so if you had a Scorpio ex, not that one. First off. Um <laughs> Yes, what did I say? White moon. This person could have a moon in Scorpio. I don't know, or you might. But I did, yeah. I kept saying like that moon energy. And I, every time I talk about Scorpio, the moon the moon card comes up, right? They have this very kind of, what's that like tall, dark, and, you know, mysterious kind of vibe? I don't know if they're tall and dark, but they are mysterious, right? That's the kind of whole vibe you have about them. And you're kind of like, you, that's how this person is like, literally like sitting on the sidelines, like, they pique my interest, like. What's up, what's up with them? Like, who are they? I want to know more about them. Like, damn. This gives me, like, an energy, like, somebody could, like, walk past you or something like that. It could be, like, double take, like, hi. Like, oh, hi. Like, who are you? Like, no, who are you? That's what I want to know. Like, it's giving me a very much so, like, I've been, I've been watching you from, like, across the room. And, like, I can't take my eyes off you. What, what song is that? Can't take my eyes off of you. Oh my gosh. I'm not, I know. Oh, I can hear the song in my head. I don't know. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. That, yeah. <laughs> that's just, <laughs> that, I know that's not quite, it's slower than that. I don't, I'm sorry. I don't know who sings it. I don't know. Mm -mm. Sorry about it. But, uh. I can hear that song. So, yeah. They're literally like... This person has a very intense, like, stare. Yeah. Yeah. This person is like, I'm going to get up. I'm going to do it. They do have a very, like, fiery energy to them. Yeah. They definitely have fire and water in their charts. So this person's kind of explosive. Like, they got a lot... Yeah, right? Explosive. Like, yeah. Like, they're, they're literally going to come in out of fucking nowhere. Like, out of nowhere. Like, you're going to be like what huh <laughs> like oh my goodness who are you like in a good way this person feels exciting they're kind of like mm. but they know right they know that you have that hard exterior they know you have your, your your boundaries up you have your walls up they're like i get it i can see i see that you've been hurt before yeah i see that some tower moment you i feel like this person's coming in after like a tower moment has happened with you this could be with like with like a past relationship falling apart or like there's something you're walking away from things that no longer serve you in your life you're getting like you're releasing and letting go of a lot of things that no longer serve you in your life tell me more about this tower moment and yeah you're resting you're building up your like reserves like you're taking care of yourself like you're getting a lot more rest you're eating right you're taking care of your body like you're letting go of a lot of it's, lot, it's like a lot of self-care a lot of self-care is just like some some summoning this person like is really manifesting this person into your life and it's not like you're actively trying thinking i want a person to come into my life right but it's like just the energy 
of you like giving to yourself and walking away from things exactly but boom right queen of wands right there comes that king oh look a king of cups this person is very passionate emperor excuse me ace of cups oh yeah this person's passionate as hell yes and what did i say unstoppable forward movement with that chariot they just Boom! They could definitely be a Cancer. They could specifically be a Cancer here. They could definitely have Pisces uh, prominent in their chart as well. And I'm hearing Virgo prominent in their chart as well, as well as Aries, okay? So they definitely have some fire, air, fire, air, and water energy in their chart. Yeah, a lot of fire, air, and water, okay? And they're looking at you like, damn, Queen of Wands, right? They're like, damn, you're coming into this Queen of Wands energy. As you're coming into this Queen of Wands energy here, right? Love, care, taking care of yourself, just feeling yourself. Like, I'm, I just said that I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Yes. As you're doing that kind of energy, it's drawing in this person, right? And this person is, this person could be older than you, okay, with this emperor energy, okay? I'm hearing a uh, distinguished older gentleman. Okay, so this person doesn't have to be like old man or anything like that, but like maybe a little bit older than you're used to dating, right? <laughs> this person's funny. They're like, I'll wear it well though, baby. Like, don't worry. Don't worry. Why did, they, why did this person just say my hips don't lie? Okay, calm down. Right, because I did the, the 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 walker or like the kind of like they're like no baby these hips don't lie like oh, this person could dance as well this person I don't know if they are a dancer they could like teach dancing lessons or they could take dancing lessons like salsa or something like that I don't know something unexpected like you would see this person and you'd be like what this is the type of person that you'll talk to and that you'll know them for a while and then one day like they'll be like oh yeah I'm doing this or, or I'm oh yeah I didn't I didn't also mention that I'm like a master yogi and you're like what or like they're like oh yeah I also do this it's like what you do what like that's so unexpected like what do you mean like this person right it's always a surprise it's always a mystery it's always kind of like what's going on with your life like what are you doing like that's great. Like, you do this and you do that. It feels like opposites. Like, this person is big, right, with that with that fire and air or that fire and water, right? It's very, like, right? It's, like, some things about this person's personality, like, feed their fire side and some things about this personality, like, shh, like quench their fire and kind of calm them down. So it's, like, this person knows when to turn up, when to be, like, the life of the party. It's, like, sometimes they're the center of attention and sometimes they're that person standing on the wall just chilling, observing the scene, right? Yeah. Star, this person could be in the limelight or they could just be a very uh, spiritual person is what I'm hearing. Yeah. They could be a very spiritual person. They're very, he like, a healing person. This person could do some kind of, like, Reiki healing, or they could be a, some kind of, like, actual, like, medical professional, some kind of doctor or something like that, more traditional. Uh, um, or they could be more into, like, uh, they could study, like, traditional medicine, or they could study kind of, like, new age medicine or, like, new age, like, uh, spirituality. Um, it's like this person, like... When you first meet this person, you see a very traditional kind of person. It's like it's like this person might kind of stand out in the way where it's like maybe this person is and I don't mean this in a creepy way, but like maybe like the, you know, you there's something about this person that stands out. It's like you, you're here. And it, and it's not like this person doesn't like like they fit the vibe. They go with it, they're cool. But it's like it's like Wait, you do this? This is cool. Like, wait, you do that? That's fucking fresh. Like, wait, you would wear that? Like, yeah, with like, what? <laughs> it's giving me this, it's completely, it's always take. this person is always taking you by surprise. It's like, when you think you have this person figured out, there's this whole other side that they flip and they're the complete opposite. And it's not like in a, oh, I can't even pin you down. It's in a good way. It's in a like, who is this person? Like, like, I thought I knew you, but then, like, you do this. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, like, I like both. I do, you know, like, yeah, I do this and I do that. And it's like, those are the complete opposites to each other. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Chill out. Okay, I don't know how many of you have seen, like, the new Spider-Man, but there's a part in it where... 
<laughs> where one character turns to the other one and says, so are you going to actually get it? Are you going to dress differently or are you just going to stay dressed as a cool youth pastor? Right. So it's like this person, when you first meet them, they might just come off as just like this, like, oh, yeah, I'm just a cool dude, you know, and you're like, oh, OK, but then they're like, but I also like do like fire breathing and you're like, what? And they're like, yeah, yeah, I also do this. And, they're, and you're like, what? Oh, also, I'm in a band and we tour around and we do this. Like, what? What You do what? It's like, it's, I don't know, there's something about this person that's just like always so surprising. And you're like, I never would have thought you did some shit like that. Like, what do you mean? Like, you just, like, you just look like a regular everyday, like, person. Not that, like, you know, that people that do interesting things, you know, aren't, like, just regular everyday people. But you see this person and you just think, oh, yeah, they're cool. You know, they're just a cool guy. They're a cool chick. You know, they just chill. You know, they just do this or do that. And then you're like, no. Like, this person is unexpected. This person has a lot of unexpected sides to them. And I feel like they feel the same way about you. They're like, oh, I wouldn't have thought that you liked to do that. Or I wouldn't have thought you liked to do this. They, you both have that kind of like, because I see this person doing the same thing. I see you and this person mimicking the same faces back to each other a lot. And not in like a, like you're just trying to fit in kind of way, but in like a, like, you do what? Like, yeah, yeah, I do this and I do that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but I also do this. And it's like, you do what? Like, that is so fucking interesting. Like, please tell me more about that. Like, really? Like, yes, no. Like, I'll yes no <laughs> yes i like yes please sit here and just talk talk about that that is so fucking interesting like how how do you do that what do you do how does one how does one <laughs> how does one become a shaman to a jungle culture like what what do you mean like you're <laughs> what how, how do you, how does one get certified in doing that? Like, what do you, what is, how did this come to pass? Like, how do you know somebody that does this or does that? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> this person makes me laugh. I feel like this person's going to make you laugh a lot. You guys are going to have very similar senses of humor. Yeah. And this person is like, yeah, although this person is mysterious and they have a lot of different sides to them, this person is going to come across as very just straightforward, Right. They'll tell, right? They're not just going to sit there and expel, you know, at, you know, about themselves, right? They're not just going to say, oh, yeah, I do this and I do that and I do this. They're going to let it naturally come up in conversation. But it's like, they're not going to sit there and just talk about themselves. But it's like, well, do, have you ever done this? Have you ever done that? Like, yep, yeah, they'll just tell you. Yep or nope or yeah. Or actually, you know, yeah, I lived in Peru for a couple of months, you know, and I did this and I did that while I was there and I helped build this church and we went on this like, crazy expedition out into the woods and did this and it's like what like this one time I went here and we did ayahuasca and I did this and you're like what like whoa 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 whoa! I need the story immediately right now like I need I need you to just not casually drop like bombs like that and you and you like no like but do like he, just explain to me like how did the situation come to pass like what do you mean like what <laughs> How? How did that happen? You know, like, how did this happen? So this is def definitely a type of person that, you know, might not just, right? They're not the person like, oh, yeah, I've done this, and I've done that, and I've done this, and I've done that, and I'm really, you know, but they are, they're very honest and very open, and they they don't keep secrets. They don't sneak around. They don't, know. there is none of that energy. It's just, yeah, I'll tell you whatever you want to know about me. Like, I'll just be very open and very honest about it, you know? But this is the type of person that you're going to have to ask, right? Have you ever done this? Have you ever done that? Like I said, they'll melt just casually be like, oh, yeah, I did that one time. Oh, yeah, I went to South America one time. Really? With what? With who? With where? How? That's so interesting. What'd you do while you were there? And this person would, could, could sit there for, you know, 20 minutes and tell you this unbelievable story that you're just like what like that's that's insane like what nice it's just like wow that's cool like wow that's that's so interesting yeah so they're not the braggadocious type they're not a very like bragging type of person but they right emperor they've experienced a lot they've experienced no matter how old they are they've experienced a lot of life right they could be older than you, but at the same time, this has given me emperor. I've, I'm wise from experience. I have experienced a lot, no matter how old this person is, right? 
And it's like, almost like, like, wow, you've experienced like five lifetimes this one lifetime. Like you've experienced more stuff than most people do, you know, in any lifetime. Like that, like, wow, that's wild. Yeah. So I feel like at first this person's going to come off as very traditional. Um, but then like the more you get to know them, you're like, oh yeah, when I was 15, I did this or I did that or yeah. I traveled around in, in a traveling circus one time when I was 15, like for a year. What? <laughs> I, you know, I, I worked for a summer on a tugboat that went around the world. Like what? Like, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh yeah. I've been to Russia before. Really? How? And it, it'll be like the most interesting story. Like you always know this person's just going to have the most interesting stories. And it's true. This person has experienced this shit. They just don't offer, they just don't offer it up, you know? Anyway, okay, tell me more. Tell me more about, yeah, two of, the, sorry, I totally forgot to talk about this, two of cups. All right, the two of cups came out. You and this person are very different. You could be from very, like I said, you could have, there could be not a big age difference, but there could be an age difference. I'm not seeing like anything more than like, not five 10 for some of you like 10 years max 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 but it's still going to be a comfortable age for you like I would still date this person or I would still you know get to know this person or spend time around them but there is definitely a two of cups here there could definitely be like a soulmate interaction going on here I feel like this person is on a journey this person is on a journey to find something. I just came in out of nowhere. I oh wow okay this person feels like once they once you meet them and you're gonna you're, for some of you, you could have already met this person but for the majority of them uh, majority of you you have not met this person yet but they're like click right how I just crack and like click to my neck click it pops right it's like something just clicks they meet you and they're like and it might not hit this person right away but some point in you knowing this person and your friendship relationship something this person is gonna get this person is gonna have a very real moment with you sometime when the two of I, I just heard thunder not like actual thunder but psychically I heard thunder so it could be at some point when you guys are like inside I'm hearing stuck inside you could be stuck inside during like a rainstorm or like something and it's like a very intimate moment that the two of you are going to share where this person is very much so going to tell you like I have been looking for a person like you like I've I, it's like I didn't realize it, but I feel like I was searching for you. I feel like it was you that I was searching for. And this person knows. They're like, I know how fucking and and, this, and like this is person like anticipates like they're they're rolling their eyes in anticipation of you rolling your eyes. Um, and they're just like, yeah, I get it. I know how cheesy that sounds, but they're like, but seriously, like I really feel this way. It's like I didn't know I was searching. for for you I didn't even know what exactly I was searching for yeah but I want to build something here together with you yeah this could start off as a business relationship in some kind of way but it's a definite two it's supposed to be a, a definite partnership here yeah yeah the two of you had to learn a lot right had to go through a lot of heartbreak had to go through a lot of things but you learned a lot from these portrayals from the from these lessons right yeah and you learned to drop a lot of your burdens along the way right a lot of your emotional baggage a lot of your stuff it's just like yeah and you learned how to have a big strength how to have this person is so strong and they're stable it's like i saw somebody like like or like you know get something and it just stays there like really strong they're so strong they're so stable there's like they're like your rock they're like your rock and this person i think i feel like this person feels the same way about you you bring um if you're the feminine energy whoever is the more is the one that's more in feminine energy obviously i feel like that's you right um because this person is coming out is the emperor right um this person feels like you bring this like softness to them like this uh kind of like softening their harder edges is kind of how they feel 
And not that I think like this person is a particularly like mean or, you know, person like that. But yeah, you ease them. You give them like, it's like this, um, the, you like ease their worries or ease their woes. Like you always make them, if, if they're ever in a situation where they're like, I don't know what to do. They come, you know, um, and it, it, they don't even have to say it. It's kind of like a situation where you're like, are you worried about this? Or you're worried about that? And you might not even say it. You would just walk up to them and be like, you know what? I've been thinking maybe you should do this or that. And they'd be like, how do you know? How did you know that I was worried about that? It's like, uh, I didn't. I just, I don't know. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's giving them this very something they were missing by. Like you ease their, their worries, their, their, their woes. What the fuck? That is from from the movie Santa Claus is coming to the, to uh, to town. Ease my kingly woes. It's a difficult responsibility. Yeah, for the number one lawmaker, me. Let it be known from sea to sea there will be no toy makers to the king. Right, so this person, right, this person's, a, they're a little serious, right? They're a little like, right? Like you might be the more fun and more kind of like loose and more kind of like, woo, it's fun, you know? And this person is the more like serious, like let's get some business done kind of person, right? And they feel like that. Like it ease, you ease their mind, right? With this king of cups, you ease my kingly woes, right? This person's coming up as a king of cups. So any kind of, any kind of issues they feel like with showing their heart or doing that, they feel, yeah, here, they felt alone for a lot, I feel like. But like this person felt very alone, very single. And they were okay with it, right? For a long time, they were okay with it. It's like, I didn't know I was looking for a partner. I didn't know I was looking for something yeah right my wishes you gave you were it's like I didn't know I was wishing for you I didn't know I was looking for you I didn't know that I was missing this out of my life but you're definitely that missing piece out of my life or that or that certain thing that feels like this person feels like you compliment them instead of you you match me it's like you compliment me very well right the two of cups is two things that are that that come together that could be two di very different things but they come together and complement each other right uh, there's a lot of compatibility right it's not just chemistry there's a lot of compat compatibility here in a way that you are um, the same in the right you know in enough ways but different in enough ways to bring some diversity to bring some some difference of opinions or difference of you know upbringing or difference of worldly experience right to you know come together right like you each have a cup right you each have a cup to come together it's not two halves of one cup coming together it's two people that each have their uh, an own their own filled cup right? Their own blessings, their own divine blessing here, right? This person is coming forward with a cup, right? They have their cup, they have their cup and it's full, right? And they want to create a two of cups with you, right? You have a cup, I have a cup, two of cups, right? Three of cups here too, like a lot of good times, fun celebration. I feel like this person is a really good time, right? And definitely they're like, we can turn your one cup and my one cup into a two of cups that will eventually turn into a ten of cups, right? Through this union here, right? Three of cups. Because the three of cups can also be a marriage because this could be a person that you end up getting married to or that you end up having like a long-term, some kind of long-term relationship with, okay? Yeah, I feel like you're going to hear from this person. You're either going to meet this person or hear from this person soon, but it's starting small, it's starting small and building and turning into something deeper, turning into something more, building upon it, building upon a, a like a sturdy foundation, which is why I feel like this tower happened here in your life, right? There were towers that had to happen because it's like, you're not, I'm not rebuilding this tower on this same foundation, okay? So this definitely could be old past relationships, old baggage, old everything that you had to, had to heal from and step back away from, right? Put to rest, lay it to rest and have a brand new beginning that's, that's here with this Ace of Pentacles being grounded into this reality with this person, right? 
definitely right all the pages are coming out here right good news coming towards you and it's definitely being sent to you here in a very uh yeah definitely right god and you have manifested this into your life right or spirit or the universe however you want to say it right but it's like you had to uh you had to tear down old things that no longer served you in the past. I feel like both of you probably did that. Both of you are probably recovering from these tower moments, right? Exactly. That's that five of pentacles to keep showing itself, right? Um, feeling a little, yeah, feeling a little rejected, feeling a little, you know, issues, feeling abandonment issues, feeling rejected in the past, feeling like you weren't good enough in the past or you weren't what other people needed. But it's like, no, I wasn't what that other person needed because I wasn't supposed to be with them, right? Like I'm not... I am not worth less because people don't see my worth, right? It's like both of you had to learn that, right? And to give yourselves new passionate beginnings here, right? A new passionate beginning. Like, wow, like, I really feel like for this person, it's really gonna, you're really gonna help this person see that a lot of things, a lot of relationships or a lot of things in the past, heartaches from the past didn't work out or didn't, and I feel like you're going to see this as well. Didn't work out because if they had, the two of you wouldn't find each other. Truth. That's the truth. That's the divine truth, right? Lots of aces here. All the aces. It's a brand new fucking beginning for both of you. And I don't know why I said brand new fucking beginning. But like, <laughs> I feel like I've been cu cussing a good amount in this reading. I don't know. This person could... Um, if you if you have kind of like a sailor's mouth or something like that, this person could be like, I'm cool with that. Like, I don't care. Or this person could be a, a person that, that curses a decent amount. Yeah, but it's like, I've, we've seen every single ace here, right? It's a brand, it's a brand, brand, brand new beginning. It's a brand new possibilities, right? Exactly. Five of, five of cups, right? All these things, all these past relationships that didn't work out because there was the two of cups lingering in the background that needed to come together, right? So it's this big feeling of giving up things that don't work in the past because the two of you, it's like if things hadn't have worked, you wouldn't have experienced the things that you had and union wouldn't have been able to happen between the two of you. Wow. This is giving me a really big like past life relationship as well, right? Lots of talking, tons of talking with this person, right? And the king of pentacles as well showing itself here. This person is very, a little more traditional, they move a little bit slower, right? Th this person has gone through a glow up or has gone through a restabilization, right? They were like a knight of pentacles in the past, but now they have emerged or reemerged back onto the scene as a king of pentacles. Again, a lot of things had to come in. Patience, right? A lot of patience, a lot of changing. This person had to put a lot into, to, um, this person could have had to travel or move to a different new location. Yeah, they had to walk away. I was just about to say, they had to walk away. Both of you did. This eight of cups came up for you too. You had to walk away from things in the past, right? From, from old past relationships, you, right? That with that queen of swords, I understand you have your boundaries up because there were things in the past, old heartaches, that three of swords, right? That you had to walk away from in the past. This person has also had to walk away from from things too onto new cycles traveling and going to new places right reinvest in themselves exactly will of fortune i really feel like this person walked away from a lot and had to learn a lot had to learn to reinvest in themselves a lot in their energy right had to learn a lot here wow look empress to find their empress Right? Their wish fulfillment. Their wish fulfillment was searching for an empress. They might not have even known. This person might not have been walking through life thinking, I'm I'm an emperor searching for an empress. Right? But they they are. They have. They found it. Or they definitely feel like they have found it. They feel like they found a match in you. For sure. Right? But this person, um, they take things slow. They take things nice and easy. I just heard that word. Way down in the city, searching for him. Wait, what is it? Searching night and day, never found one minute of sleep and all. Yeah. Big wheel, keep on turning. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that you're going to have a Ike and Tina Turner relationship with this person. I don't think. That could have been what this person got out of. This person could have been in a, in a 
in a not so glorious relationship or a not so, you know, kind of like things looked well on the outside, swell. I'm sure the person says things look swell on the outside, but not too happy on the inside kind of relationship. Okay. Yeah. And I feel like you might kind of have your, your sword up kind of high to this person at first because they might come off as a kind of a knight, nut of cups, but they're a king of cups, right? They might come off as a knight of cups. They might show up as a knight of cups or a, a knight of pinnacles, a knight of cups at first. I feel like this person, right, they're showing up as page energy, but the truth is, right, underneath this page energy is the fact that this person's actually a king, right? Underneath this page energy is the fact that this person is actually an emperor. This person might not lead with their emperor status right off the bat because maybe perhaps they've had people take advantage of that in the past. So this person might really show up as kind of like a like a knight energy, a page energy at first. You know, kind of like I'm not, not necessarily like, this person might come off as um, a knight of cups as in they might be very passionate about you. They might be very interested in you, but you might think, oh, this isn't going anywhere any serious. I don't think that this person is coming at me seriously, but I just feel like this person is cautious, right? Yeah. Hangman energy. This person is cautious because they want to see different sides of you. You know, they want to see more all of who you are first before they offer like a and there's nothing wrong there's nothing wrong with taking your time and getting to know somebody and really getting to know who somebody really is first before you're like oh yeah by the way i'm a fucking emperor you know hey look at this person you see see this you see this slow sneaking in that's happening right now yeah that's this person hey bookie mm. hey <laughs> yeah see how she, she that slow sneaking in hey hey <laughs> mm -hmm. weighing up uh, I don't feel like this person is juggling you with other options necessarily um but it's like they're weighing weighing you know mm, let me let me see who this person is first, right? Especially if this person is a king of pentacles, they might not really show up like that at first. They might, I'm not saying that they're going to show up like a cheapskate or anything like that, but they might not really be really presenting as much money as they have, or they might just kind of be, you know, you know, I'm just not right. They're just coming dressed, dressed as a fun youth pastor, right? They're just coming dressed as like, you know, yeah, I'm, you know, they're dressed well, but they're not like in an Armani or like a Gucci suit or something like that, right? Um, they dress well, they take, you know, they obviously take care of themselves and they, they look well, you know, they're, they're clean and they smell good and things like that, but they might not come off. It's like something about not coming off as a king, like, you could misjudge this person at first to be kind of like, you're not serious, are you? You're just kind of like a fun playboy kind of energy. Although it's like, or it, it's not quite that. It's like a, I don't even, it's like, it's almost like a, I don't think this person is interested romantically in me, right? It's like, I don't think it's that way. I feel like this person very much so takes their time showing the fact that they're interested in somebody, you know, they keep it chill. They keep it cool. Is what it seems like, you know, they're like, I'm interested in you, you know, but it's not like, I feel like this person has a lot more emotions for you than they let on pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. They know. Look at this. They know. Empress. They see who you are. They see you. They're like, shit, that right there, that's an empress. Shit right there, the lover. Shit, that right there, that's a soulmate energy. Shit right there, that's a match to me. They know that. They know that. They see you for who you are. They see your worth for what you are, right? 100%. They're like, that right there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they said, place closed. Case closed, the death card. Definitely with this uh, Scorpio energy. They're like, that right there? Oh, yeah. That right there is a, is a new beginning. That right there, that's the end of my journey. That right there, yeah, they know. 
the lovers, right? The lovers with the empress. Like, come on. Yeah, that right there, I'm going to marry her. Or I'm going to marry him. That right there, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's something that I want. That's something I want to celebrate. That's something that I feel grateful for. They know that, right? But they might not. Yeah, hangman. They might not show it, though. What, sweetie? No. What? <laughs> sit down yeah it, this person is a person that takes their time settling in they take their time weighing out the option that weighing out what the situation is who you are how you move how you handle yourself right they take their time but they get what they want they are a person that gets what they want because they're a magician here and they know that they are they're an emperor right they know how to manifest in what's right, how to manifest in this. But they do, yeah, they do feel a little more like it might take this person a little bit to commit. Not that there's other options, right? You might think, oh, this person has other options. This person is balancing out me with other options. I don't think there's other options. This person has just learned from the past, right, to take their time. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> She's making biscuits. You making biscuits? Mm. Hey. Hey. Yum, yum, yum. Oh. Yeah. Settled in. Yeah. Yeah, it takes this person a little bit of time to set, to completely settle into a situation. Mm-hmm. Is that how you feel? Aw. My sweetie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Here y'all come, jealous, huh? Here y'all come, jealous. You jealous? <laughs> yeah, you are. Hey. Hey. Uh-uh. Hey. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey, babies. Hey, babies. Hey, babies. Hey. Okay. Let's wrap this up. Yeah, this is... Uh, I like this person. They're interesting. They're fun. They're... Yeah. Ooh, wow. Yeah, they're cautious, right? You came out here as the, as the queen of swords. You're definitely, this person is cautious too, right? They're like, I've been hurt too. I've been in situations that haven't really worked out in the past too, right? I had, there are some things that I regret, some situations that I've been in that I regret too, but I really feel like this person's really looking at you like, right? Like wish fulfillment. This person's looking at you like four of wands, right? Like we're not gonna, de we're not gonna deny this, right? King empress you know empress emperor lovers four of wands like they're they are looking at you like yeah right that's my wish fulfillment i want to marry this person i want to be with this person but like it just takes time for this to develop as it should you know as it should so just kind of tiptoe absolutely not um Page of Wands energy here. Yeah. I feel like you're going to get news about this person or this. Tell me, what is this Page of Wands? I'm not getting a really big energy out of this. Page of Wands. Hmm. Three of Wands, waiting, anticipating. Hmm. I feel like this person is waiting for the right time to make their move. This, this person could be listening to spirit guiding this person. Yeah, this person is waiting for you to be single. For some of you, this person has been waiting for you to be single or waiting, right? Like I said, you had that, 
that other person's energy like all around you and stuffing up the place and like yeah this person was waiting yeah for the all clear right this person was waiting for um energetically for the situation to feel a lot yeah right there was this other energy that was fighting this person's energy off from coming in and this person had to energetically wait until the all clear came right um i really also feel like spirit really wanted you to be more independent to be to to learn to have a lot more strength to her to learn so you definitely have been going through some karmic cycles here in in your lessons and learning and dealing with getting rid of an old karmic um an old karmic lover kind of energy, right? A new cycle has had to begin here for you. A new cycle of coming into your own and feeling independent and feeling successful and feeling like good, right? Because I feel like this other person is already there. This person is already feeling this nine of pentacles energy. And it's like spirit wanted you to feel um, equally match this person, right? It's like you needed to have your own. You needed to see that you could do it on your own, that you could be successful on your own, that you could have this triumph, this sun, this enlightenment, you know? You had to come to this enlightenment of independence, right? You might have been a little more codependent on a, on this past energy, right? This past karmic energy, which is why what that might have been the karmic energy that you were really learning from. You had to, to end that old cycle with that old person of being a little more dependent, Right? You might have felt like whoever this karmic energy in the past might, you might have thought that this person was your emperor. You might have thought this person was your empress, but I don't think they were because clearly this person is coming out emperor, empress, right? Karmic or not karmic, but soulmate. I really feel like you were dealing with a karmic soulmate in the past, but you had to fight through this energy, right? Because it was a block, right? This other kind of, whoever this other fuckboy energy is, right? You had to actually block out this energy and move on from it, right? Right? Yeah, and walk, walk away from it, like I said, right? Because it was causing you like a stagnant moment in your life. It was causing you to feel abandoned, right? I thank you, Spirit. These were lessons that you really needed to learn yourself, right? You needed to become more King of Pentacles, more stable in your own victory and see that you could do this on your own, that you could have this. So this is right, right? This is when this person is going to come into your life. They're going to come into your life when you are in, on a high, you know, when you, when... You are taking care of yourself. You're being there. You're independent. You know, you have a lot going on in your life. And then suddenly this, this person is going to walk into your life and you're just going to be like, oh, wow. Like, okay. Like, wow. It feels like everything is kind of lining up together at the same time. So don't worry, right? This is really reminding me of the kind of inner, the readings that I've been doing here recently where it's like you're walking away from old energies that don't serve you anymore. You're walking away. You're ending old cycles. You're walking away from karmic energy energies exactly five pinnacles you're walking away from old karmic energies right o old people in your past are feeling like left behind or abandoned by you and things like that but it's like not your problem not your deal yeah my deck felt suddenly so heavy when i started talking about that but yeah we're leaving behind those old energies right we're clearing out those old energies out and things are balancing out right you're putting in the work and things are really balancing out and you're putting in the work to untrap yourself from the feeling for a lot, look, I'm just going to be honest what I'm really getting. For a lot of you, a lot of you were really dead set on the on this past person being your twin flame. On this past person being the person and you felt very guilty. You felt very, a lot of heavy energy about walking away from this past person. And this person was really taking advantage of that and holding on to your energy, holding you back, making you feel guilty for like walking away from them or, oh my God, you're walking away from your twin flame or some shit like that. I really feel like this other person was keeping you trapped. And also it was like you were trapping yourself in a definition that wasn't real kind of energy is what I'm getting here. It's like you were getting so hung up in the in the thought that this person was your twin flame or this person was your soulmate or your forever partner that you you know that you were that you were just actually trapping yourself here, right? And that's the energy this person was taking advantage of. Whoever this person is in the past, they were trying to really hold on to your energy because they didn't want you to leave. Because who would want to let go? Who who wants to let go of an empress or an emperor walking into their life? Nobody. Nobody wants to let go of that energy. But like you got to, you got to move on. You got to, you know, let it leave, let it exit your energy, right? For sure. So, absolutely. 
Um, yeah, I'm just getting a lot of letting the old energy go, letting that old energy just leave and exit your life. And you just have, you know, it's, it's more like, it's not like this person coming in at, at this, at this time. It's more like spirit allowing this person to come in. And you also had to clear up your energy. You had to make space for this, for this energy. Cause as long as you were assigning, I, as long as you were assigning that this old person was your emperor or was your empress, right? Then this new actual emperor, there wasn't room for an emperor to come into your life because you were assigning this old person to being that, to being that energy. You were assigning this old karmic energy to being that person for you, right? And if, you know, that, if that place is already taken up, like how can that person come in? There's just going to be fighting energy. There's going to be, you are automatically going to be rejecting that right so for some of you and i'm not telling i'm not trying to tell you how to feel but i'm just saying that for some of you i know I, i've seen it in the comment session before like forget the old person forget this twin flame journey all this other stuff no my twin flame is stuck on a blah 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 all this i feel like a lot of you were stuck in karmics we're stuck on karmics or we're stuck on false flames or we're stuck on whatever label that you want to put on it right that you were so ready i'm not saying that you're not on a twin flame journey or that you're not in a soulmate journey you know because you know your situation more than I do, but I definitely feel like, yeah, I definitely feel like you guys had to spend some time unlearning something that you had been taught in the past about this journey or about who your person was, right? Because I feel like for a lot of you, you were looking for somebody to fill a place and this person just stepped into it like, well, if you're just looking for somebody, I guess I'll be that person when they weren't that person to begin with, which is why they kept you waiting, which is why you guys never came together, which is why it just felt so heavy and there was always a karmic energy getting in the way between the two of you. That karmic energy that was getting in the way between the two of you coming together was that person's energy because they were actually a karmic. They weren't your twin flame or they weren't, you know, your soulmate. They weren't that person, you know, they were trying to to shape shift and become something because because frankly you put that label on them right and I've done that before I had to come to realize that I was put I was putting a false label on on somebody that was clearly a karmic energy for me right I had to come to that and I'm not saying that your story has to be my story right but for some of you out there in the collective I really feel like that was the energy or for some of you you knew you knew very clearly that this, that this person was a karmic energy right and you knew that you were trying to walk away from this energy but this person energetically was just around you you know was holding on to you but not anymore i don't feel that i don't feel like anymore i feel like this person is moving out of your life any kind of tile between you and this person is uh is tearing away is moving away um so keep thinking that you're bringing in that new positive energy into your life that you have that new positive person coming into your life, you know, um, and try to think about this past person as little as possible. So I'm sorry that I brought them up at all, their energy, but their energy just is kind of lingering around, but it's on its way out, like period. Their energy is leaving. Their energy has no claim on you. And I'm de that's when I'm definitely speaking into the existence is that that person is leaving and we are, and we are talking about new energy coming in here. Okay. So I definitely feel like this person has definitely been wanting to come into your life. They have just felt like they couldn't yet or it wasn't time yet. Energetically, spirit has been keeping this person away so that you can learn the lesson that you needed to learn from this karmic person in the past, right? And yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. Good luck moving forward. This person is going to be great. This person's fun. I like their energy. They're in, they're a very interesting character. Okay. So have a good time with this new person coming into your life. Good luck to you moving forward. Okay. Keep cutting those energetic cords and just focusing on what is working for you in your life and what new positive, great things are coming to you in your life. Cause you definitely do have a lot of new, interesting experiences and things coming to you. Okay. If you're not subscribed to the channel, think about subscribing and sticking around. If this resonated for you, let me know down in the comment session down below okay um thank you to everyone out there who comments who likes the content you know who shares the content who contacts me for personal readings or who donates to the channel or inter interacts with the channel at all i really appreciate you guys thank you so very much for being here and i will see you in the next one lovelies bye